Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video. This is how I did a uh, draw tober this year. So I used the Legion mini pads again, <laughs> using in the map. I had some watercolors, some cheap watercolors I wanted to use up and I tried to use them all but I wasn't able to but what I did was that I just threw on as much watercolor I could on these little cards and I only used the Legion pads that could handle the water. Yeah, I got these really beautiful gradients and shapes and stuff like this one's really pretty. I hate to paint over it. So this is the prompt list that I used from 2019, actually. Um, I don't know, it just spoke to me. And uh, as you can see, my sketches are <laughs> something. The thing is that I was using acrylic pens to um, paint over, and they were picking up the watercolors a lot, which meant I had to keep drawing them off. So that's why the sketchbook is so wild. So I did a lot of the prompts already off screen. So the first one I'm starting with today is number 25, which is talking board. And I have no idea what that is. So I have to look it up. It's just a Ouija board. Why didn't you just say that? <laughs> I know what a Ouija board is. So I found this really pretty Ouija board. I really like the aesthetic. The surface I'm drawing on, painting on, is so small that... Do I just draw a little bit of it? I didn't want to draw all the way out to the edges because I didn't do that with the colors either. When I paint in these, I was trying to use as much watercolor as possible to use them up. And also some of the colors, they were in different states. Like, they were all opened a long time ago, so some are really thick and some were just dried out, some are really thin, such different consistencies. So when I painted the, the papers, when it dried, sometimes it dried really shiny, and other times it dried so thick. I mean, in a way that it started like falling off the paper. Uh, not a good look, but that's what happened. I had to work around it. So when I tried to use the gel pen on top of this one, it was too shiny, uh, too slippery, it, it didn't stick, so I had to use the Pasco pen instead. And this is how it turned out. I quite like this one, actually. It's simple, but I wanted the colors behind to shine through. Another thing, uh, since I did paint over it with Pascas, it was picking up the paint and stuff. I should have maybe put a layer of something in between to uh, set the paint before painting over it. I don't know, I wanted to see what effects I could get. Like, I just want to see the mistakes. <laughs> I didn't want to plan it out too much.
Now this one, I was... Uh, I just wanted the colors behind it to shine through. This was crystal, I think. And... I failed, basically. I kind of hate it. <laughs> and I feel like I was a little limited with just the pens, but that was that was part of the challenge, you know. You could have used a palette and a, and a brush, but again, that would pick up the watercolor that I had in the background, so... Uh, if I had to do it again, um, I would probably use not such small shapes. I would rather use the first sketch that I did in my sketchbook. I would make bigger shapes, which would make it easier to make it look good on this small piece of paper. Oh, and I did use a reference for this. Uh, it doesn't look shit like the reference, but you know. <laughs> Mentioning it. Also, I'm sorry about the voice. Again, I got sick. Again. Please don't look at this one. <laughs> just, just skip this one. <laughs> now, I, I think it's good to show the failures as well. This was eyeball. I was going to kind of uh, merge the background with the object that I was drawing. I wanted to in incorporate the background and uh, it didn't really work out, but I tried. It was fun. Now I know what not to do <laughs> next time. This was one of the papers that had a lot of fallout with the watercolor paint. It was just falling off like crazy. Next up we have Moonlight. This one was pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, I really like this one. It just goes to show that simpler is often better. Especially on these small pieces of little paper. I tried drawing the moon with the um, with the smallest Pasca that I have, uh, didn't work at all. So I used a pinter instead with a bigger nib, and then I went in with the Pasca pen, the small Pasca, which kind of scraped off some of the pinter marker and let the background shine through, um, which made it kind of look more like a moon than if I hadn't. So that was the happy accident. This next prompt was underwater. I used the reference one. I used several references for this one. To me, it looks like it's underwater, but I don't know what it looks like to others. So I like it, but I'm not sure if it's reading well.
class. Claw class, I can't remember, but anyways. I I considered doing the classic ah claw clawing through the paper, oh no. But I wanted to do something more I mean, I don't know, cooler, more uh, more designy, I guess. So I found this reference photo and um just drew that because I thought it was really cool. And this one also had a lot of fallout with the paint. So I had to go over several times to get a non-transparent uh, layer. What I really like about the Molotow acrylic markers is that you can see this, you see the paint, literally. You can see when it's not mixed properly, like here you see it's still not properly mixed. So yeah, I just blah 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 blah. <laughs> now it looks good. <laughs> And so here we have the last day. Which was which so now and again I didn't really know what that was. I had like an idea maybe. I thought it was your witch OC, but apparently it is you yourself as a witch. And so I wasn't too far off. I chose to use a hairdo that I had a few years ago. I don't have it right now, but I have the color. <laughs> it was really hard to get this whole witch sewn up on this small piece of paper. Uh, so I chose to do like a, a portrait style.
I just can't throw glasses. The glasses just ah oh, they annoy me. But you know. Once I had drawn it, I couldn't go back. Also, this was my chance to really improve on the broom that I had drawn earlier. Because <laughs> it was shite. This one was much better. I purchased this little card collector thing um, for this purpose. It's weird because the front and the back don't open on the same side, so that's why I was confused here. What annoyed me is that they just didn't fit, like, just didn't uh, in the length or the height. So I had to cut them all to fit. It's not too big a deal. I don't have a uh, metal ruler, so I kept cutting off pieces of the ruler in the process of this. <laughs> Oops. So, finally, let's go through all of them. The reveal! Yeah, this first one was just a test. First word was nature, so I just wanted to do this whole ecosystem of an island with a tree on it. <laughs> the second word was light, and basically just did a light bulb. Really like this one, but it I painted it too far up. I regret that. Then the next word was dark, uh, so I just did a, a moon, a, a lunar eclipse, eclipse. You know and. Ma the moon goes in front of the sun, you know. Basic. And then the next one was skeleton. I don't have enough space for a whole skeleton, so I just did the skull. Because I love drawing skulls. They're fun. The next word was raven. And I just did a raven. It's a bit dark, though. I re nah, a bit too dark compared to the background. The next one was Potion, and I regret this one so much. I wish I had done the sketch version. Instead, I ended up with one that's just way too big. It's too far down on the page. And uh, yeah, it's okay though. The next one was Four Spirit. I've drawn this type of pose with wings. I've drawn this many times. So I just did it again, but like in a four spirit vibe, a vibe. Next one was jack-o'-lantern. Instead of just doing an actual jack-o'-lantern, I just decided to do the face. Why do these cool backgrounds if I'm not going to use them for the design? I'm happy with this one. Simple, but you know, 
I didn't want them to be complicated. Next one was number nine, Candle. I love how this one turned out. It just looks... The background is perfect. This is another background that was really just falling off the paper. But it works. It works for this one. Next up, tarot card. So I chose the Hermit. That's one of the tarot cards. Eh, not too fond of this one. Next one, number 11, that was cat, black cat specifically. Yeah, this one, I just really want to use the background. Like the colors are amazing. So yeah, cat shining. Next one was Banshee. So for this one, I used this reference here from the artist Darken. It was hard to copy with just, you know, acrylic pens, but I like it. The reference was awesome. Next one, Apparition. I didn't really do any sketches for this one because I knew exactly what I wanted to do. And this is where the pen picked up the background color. I love this one. It's so simple, but so effective. Then we have Graveyard. Not much to say about that. It's a graveyard. Next up we have Elemental. This one was so much fun and I love this one. I love how it turned out. This tiny little piece of fire. I can't remember if I used reference for this or not. I think maybe I just looked up some examples. And then we have Creature. <laughs> I'm so bad at drawing creatures that, yeah, <laughs> don't look at it too long, please, no, look away. <laughs> uh, then we have Shapeshifter. I wanted it to look like she was in the midst of a transformation into an animal. Next up, Victorian. Yeah, it's just, just a portrait of a Victorian woman. <laughs> it looks like the city is on fire in the back or something. <laughs> and then we have Spellbook. This one was so much fun. I really like it. I hope you see what it is. <laughs> I was just looking up examples of magical books. So this is like a combination of all that. Then we had Curse, that made me think of The Nun, the movie from The Conjuring Universe. I didn't use any reference for this specifically, just for the nun outfit. I like that one. Alright, this, this page is horrible. This one was underground, and I tried to draw like this underground tube but it's kind of hard to see what it is it just looks like cobwebs i hate it you can hate it too it's okay then we had autumn so i just want to do the leaf and have the background shine through but honestly it just looks like a banana it looks like a banana leaf i don't know what it's horrible i don't like it then we had incantation. I don't know if you can see it, but I used the background and just tried to draw this pentagram in perspective. And then there's supposed to come light up from the, pre <laughs> it's hard to tell. Whenever I use the background, I fail. And then we had broomstick, the horrible, horrible broomstick. Let's just move on. <laughs> Uh, 
and then here we are back to the beginning. I do like a different way to do it every year, or at least <laughs> this year and last year. Last year I did it in this way. Yeah, and this is how that turned out. Anyways, that was Drawtober for me this year. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was somewhat enjoyable. There's so many ways to do this and I keep looking for other ways to do it. Part of the fun, you know. Bye.